Hello, my babies. Hello. <sighs> my mouth is extremely dry right now. I need to hydrate myself. Anyways, I know it's been a minute, like always. I'm like, I slack on YouTube so much, but I like to update you guys every now and again, let you know what's going on. So, recently, I just got out of the hospital yesterday. Back in school today, I'm in my second semester of college, and my classes are history and biology. I'm going to make this short and sweet real quick, because I just want to update you guys and let you guys know how I'm doing. But I'm really tired, because I'm only on two hours of sleep, because my neighbors and her, my neighbor and her boyfriend wanted to argue last night, and he was outside cutting up. So, and then I had to go to sleep. I mean, I had to go to school. So, you know, I, I'm not on sleep right now. Only two hours. So, I'm in my second semester. My classes are history and, biolo history and biology. And for those of you who do not know, my name is Nikia. I am a sickle cell warrior. I'm in school to be a funeral director. So, yeah, I'm taking classes. I'm in my generals right now. And, yeah. So, school's been going great so far. But besides that, I had to miss a... I think I missed... Yeah, I missed a day and a half. Because I went to one class on Wednesday and then left early and missed the other class. So, I missed one and a half day. And um, so, it's been good besides that one and a half day I missed. And my teacher told me to just bring her in some doctor's notes and I'll be good to go. She got, me, she got my back. She got my back, she said. So, excuse me. So, you know, I missed... Just one and a half day and went back to school today after getting out the hospital yesterday. The hospital stay was pfft, basura. Basura means garbage. And yeah, I wasn't on the ninth floor, so of course it was garbage. And what else? What else is going on? I'm still baby. My niece, she turned two, y'all. Besides me being in the hospital, I've been healthy, having fun, enjoying school. School is so fun. Like, I literally love my classmates in history class. Biology, I got this one cool chick that, you know, is cool. But the class is kind of weird. These people are, like, antisocial. They're not like me. I talk and talk and yap and yap and I'm friendly as hell. So, yeah. That's been going on. I'm starting a nonprofit organization. Soon enough, it's going to happen. And I'm trying to think of what else is going on with me. What else is going on with me? Still working at the casino. Working in the spa. Enjoying my summer. Trying my best to stay out the hospital. But I just got out yesterday. So now we're going to stay out for a while to come. And I don't understand why these nurses decide they can treat us like trash. Like, I don't understand why... You giving me IV pain medication has to do with anything with you and why it upsets you. Because literally, sickle cell has the biggest stigma. We are not drug seekers, like I keep continue to say. We are not drug seekers. And I know there's people who do abuse their medication. Now they're cracking the whip on people who actually need it. But sickle cell warriors are not blood, I mean, drug seekers. There's not, we're not drug seekers, okay? We're in chronic pain people with chronic illnesses who are in chronic pain don't seek for drugs we literally want relief simple i don't even get high off my pain meds like they think i do i don't they never come in there and they never see me all doped up and nodding i'm never like that every time they come in my room i'm up i'm alert if i'm in pain i'm laying down but other than that i'm up i'm alert i'm giving them a laugh if you manage my pain well and you know what i'm saying i'm good Yo, I'm up. I'm we're having a good time. I'm talking to the girls. Ask ask floor nine if you got if y'all will call up to the hospital and call the ninth floor and ask them about me. Those ladies would vouch for me and say she is a wonderful young woman. Period. She's wonderful. So I don't understand what the issue is. I really don't. But you know what? It's going to be fixed. And if it's even if it's not fixed for me and I leave this earth, right, when I'm old, because I'm not leaving the earth anytime soon. I'm leaving when I'm like 100 years old, okay? Maybe even 105. <laughs> but when I leave the earth, 
it will be fixed for people for my next gener the next generation and the next generation and the next generation to come they will have relief they will be able to go to the hospital and feel safe i don't feel safe on any other floors except ninth they will feel safe they will feel comforted and the thing is too i want to say this because i can speak on it because i'm african-american African American needs to do better. I'm gonna say us. I'm not gonna blame just one person. Us African Americans need to do better. Like we really need to support each other. We need to support our people, and and do that a lot more often because, oftentimes it's like. We face a world full of problems, and I'm not saying that everybody doesn't, but being African American, we know. It's already a weapon. I'm just telling the truth. And we face a world full of problems. Why do we got to be against each other? Soon as I, like, when I'm in the hospital from where I'm from, I don't know how it is for anybody else, but I can say this. When I'm in the hospital and I have an African-American um, nurse that's treating my pain, it never goes well. Let me not say never. I lied. I lied. It's rare that it goes well. I've had, I can say, three out of eight African-American nurses that I've had. And three of them were really nice and understood. But I had to correct them first in order for them to understand. So they, they, all, they did come off like that's why i had to think about it real you know what i'm saying for a minute at first they came off like you know weird but the three of them listened and they understood and they took the time out to get to know me and realize okay she's not here for that the rest of them want to argue want to banter like this last hospital stay i have proof i'm first of all i hit 11k to i hit 11k on tiktok you guys go follow me on tiktok Nikia the Warrior. It's literally the same name as my YouTube name. Go follow me on there. I had 11K and I was on live and there was like a lot of people on the live and they heard this nurse talking like talking to me like trash. And I, I downloaded the recording. So, you know, I never showed her face. I don't show their faces because you can get in trouble for that. But there's nothing wrong with me playing what's going on in the background. I'm on my live. Whether you know that or not, your face is not showing. I don't have to tell you that I'm on live. I don't have to tell you that I'm on my live. It's not like I'm intentionally recording either. I'm literally on live. And I don't have to tell you when you step in my room that I'm on live if I'm not showing your face. Now, if I want to show your face, then I will have to tell you. Other than that, I don't have to tell you shit. So, yeah, I just want I want to pray. I want to end this off in prayer. That's what I'm going to do with my videos because God is king. And I want to pray and end my videos off with a prayer now because I'm getting closer to God. You know, I'm working on my, work, working on my relationship with him. So I want to pray. Dear Lord, I pray that you give me and everybody who comes across this video guidance to move on through life peacefully, gracefully. I ask that you come and you give us as much peace and serenity as we can get, dear Lord, as we go through the hard times that we go through, dear Lord. We know that the hard times are just to get to the better, dear Lord. And for the people who don't know that, dear Lord, wrap your arms around them and give them comfort to know that, dear Lord. Show them the way, dear Lord. I'm praying for me. I'm praying for everybody in this world. Dear Lord, bless this world. Bless everybody in this world, especially the people who came across this video. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My babies, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Hit the bell so you can be notified when I go, you know, post my videos every now, every three months <laughs> to six months. I know y'all still love me though. <laughs> have a good night. Have a good day. I love you guys.